Good morning everybody, we're back, we're live, it's Laura from Toonie Tiny Theatre here um, we're just going to wait a couple of minutes for people to join us um, and in the meantime maybe we should do a little bit of a warm up, a bit of a stretch out so can I see everybody reaching up high to the ceiling, really really tall, right up on your tippy toes reach, 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 oh so much stretching, good and then try and Collapse right down to the floor, into the smallest ball you can make on the floor. Well done. Oh, give yourself a cuddle. Lovely. Let's grow back up again, but this time really, really slowly, like a shoot, growing out of the ground, just like in the springtime, like you can see outside the window. Stretch right up to the ceiling. Stretching really tall, up into your tippy toes again. Oh, what a big stretcher, stretcher, stretcher. Good. And then back down to the ground, really slowly, back down into a ball on the floor, give yourself a cuddle, oh that's better, give yourself a nice big cuddle, lovely, and now let's try and make ourselves as big and wide as we can, can you stretch yourselves out wide, make a nice big star shape with your arms and your legs, oh stretch out nice and wide. And then can you make yourself as small as possible? Maybe make that small ball shape on the floor again. Give yourself a cuddle. Oh, there we go. And nice and big one more time. And really, really small again. Very good. Ah, oh, that's better. Give your shoulders a bit of a stretch out to make some circles with your elbows and the other way. That's good. Now see if you can do the same thing with your knee. You make a circle with your knee, stand on one leg, make a circle with your knee and then go the other way. There we go. And then try standing on the other leg and make a circle with that knee. Woo, I nearly fell over. And then another way. Very, very good. So now we've given ourselves a stretch. Shake yourselves out. Very good. And good morning if you've just joined us. This is Teeny Tiny Theatre at Home, and we're live this morning to go on a dinosaur adventure. But before we start, we're gonna sing our hello song, which if you joined us last time, you'll know it already. It's a call and response song. So I sing the first line, and then you sing back to me. So we'll sing it twice again, like we did last time. Um, and the second time, you should know what to do. So join in when you get it. It goes like this. Say hello, hello. Say hello, hello. Say hello, hello. Say hello, hello. Nice, let's do it again. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello, hello. Hi, so we've started officially now. Thank you for joining us. And as I've just said, we are going on a dinosaur adventure this morning. We're going to be using lots of different skills, listening skills, our watching and our using our eyes, making sure we're looking carefully around us, making sure we're being safe in our space as well. You might want to clear an area around you so you've got plenty of room. And I might ask you to go and fetch some things during the session. Don't worry if you don't, if you can't find those things. Um, I think in the next uh, play sessions that we do live, I'll probably make sure you've got a list of things you might need. But there's not a lot. There's not a lot that you need today. Um, and if you can't find it, you can always pretend. Um, so we are going to start with um, another song, but this time it's all about dinosaurs. And if you've been looking at our YouTube channel, you may have already come across this one. Um, it's, it's all about what a dinosaur might like to eat. Hmm, what do dinosaurs like to eat? Have a little think about that, maybe speak to your grown-up and tell them what you think dinosaurs like to eat. What is their favourite food? Hmm, I wonder. And then I want you to have a think about what you think a dinosaur would hate to eat. Yuck! They would not want to eat that at all. Disgusting! What does a dinosaur think is disgusting? Have a little think about that. 
Okay, and the song goes like this, and you can join in when you're ready, or just listen to me singing it. It's up to you. Um, but I want you to suggest some things while we're singing the song. So let's do it. It goes like this. When a dinosaur's feeling hungry, he looks for food. He looks in the forest when he's in a hungry mood. When he looks in the forest, he finds lots and lots of... What did you think they eat? Mice. When he looks in the forest, he finds lots and lots of broccoli. And he goes, mmm, mice. And he goes, eeeh, broccoli. Good. When a dinosaur's feeling hungry, he looks for food. He looks in the forest when he's in a hungry mood. When he looks in the forest, he finds lots and lots of Easter eggs. When he looks in the forest, he finds lots and lots of lettuce. And he goes, mmm, Easter eggs. And he goes, Ugh. Well done. When a dinosaur's feeling hungry, he looks for food. And that's a really good one to repeat and repeat and add more and more yummy food and yucky food to the song for the dinosaurs. And you can keep on going for ages with that song. That's a really good one to start you off thinking about dinosaurs. But on our dinosaur adventure today, I want you to meet a special dinosaur adventurer. And it is me. My name is Laura, the dinosaur explorer. And today I'm going into my time machine and I'm going to explore the world of the dinosaurs. So the first thing we need to think about as dinosaur explorers is what we need to wear when we go exploring for dinosaurs. So have a little think, talk to your grown up. What might you need to put on? We did a little bit of thinking like this when we went on our space adventure last week. We thought about wearing a helmet and space boots, if you remember. But what might be special about a dinosaur journey, a dinosaur adventure? Hmm. Well, I think on my dinosaur adventure, I'm going to wear a special jacket that's got lots of pockets in it so that I can put things in that I might find. So I'm gonna put my jacket on. Is everyone gonna put theirs on? Put your arm in the sleeve, arm down the other sleeve. And my jacket does up with a zip. So you're going to zip it up, get ready, zip, well done. And my jacket's got lots of pockets ready for putting special things in that I might find. Okay, the next thing we might put on is, okay, a hat. Can you grab your hat and put the hat on? I think it's gonna be really hot and sunny in the dinosaur land, and we're gonna to need to make sure that we keep ourselves protected from the sun. So there's my big, dinosaur hat already and on my feet do you think I should wear flip-flops no I don't think flip-flops are a good idea there could be all sorts of creepy crawlies on the ground that might try to bite my toes so I think I'm going to need to wear my special dinosaur adventure walking boots so I'm going to put those on now you're going to do yours Ooh. okay putting my feet in the in the boots good and mine do up with laces they're quite tricky aren't they i'm going to do up my laces and the other foot oh, i've just made you wobble sorry and the other one there. okay i'm ready now this is going to be quite a big adventure so we're going to need to take some supplies with us and i brought my rucksack bag here which i'm going to put some things in maybe you could suggest some things that i could put into my rucksack bag. I'm going to read your comments on my screen. So if you want to get your grown up to write something down and then I'll put it in my bag when they've written it down. So what might we take with us on our dinosaur adventure? Think about the sorts of equipment we might need or something we might need to keep us going on our trip. Let's see what people have written already. <gasps> Chantal. 
and I think that's Nathaniel and Beatrice. They've suggested binoculars. So should we grab our binoculars and have a look through? Oh, that's good. And let's put them into our rucksack. In they go. And you can pretend, if you don't have a rucksack, you can just pretend to put your binoculars in a pretend rucksack. Good, what else might we need to take? Oh, of course. Rory and Ruby think we need to take a camera and, what's that? Vegetables. We really need to take vegetables on a dinosaur. Maybe we need snacks. We definitely need some snacks, don't we? Uh, biscuits. That's Nico, I think, suggested biscuits. Thank you, Nico. Um, oh, and a net. That's useful. That might be useful for catching things. Okay, let's pretend to put our things in our bag. So I've got my snacks, my vegetables, they're going in. Ooh, very good. The camera, let's put that in the bag. What else was there? Oh, yeah, biscuits. Thank you, Nico. Let's put the biscuits in. And what was that? Oh, yes, a net. I'm going to fold up my big old net. Fold it up. There we go, and put that in my bag. Okay, now let's close up our bags. You can pretend, can't you, if you don't have your own bag, and pop it on your back, because we're gonna go now into our special time machine. Now this is where I need the grown-ups to help. So if you're a grown-up, all I want you to do is stand nice and still like this, like a big tall tower, and I want you to pretend that you've got different buttons you're going to pretend you've got different buttons maybe you've got a button here maybe there's a button here there could be a button here maybe a button on your knee you decide where those buttons are now children what I would like you to do is pretend that your grown-up is a time machine control pad so when you press the buttons on your time machine control pad, different things happen. The time machine might make a different noise for each button. Beep, 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 beep. Wow, 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 clunk, maybe. Maybe the buttons even say something. So if you press the button, it might say, doors closing, maybe. Maybe if you press this button, it might say, boosters on. Why don't you have a play? See if you can press the buttons on your control pad, on your grown-up, and see what noises and instructions they might give. Have a go. And grown-ups, if you've got a spare hand, you might want to type what different sorts of noises or instructions your time machine is giving. Let me have a little look. Oh, nothing coming up yet, let's see. Oh, Cohen, I've just seen that you've brought sandwiches. That's a definitely a good decision. Sandwiches are so important on a journey like this, aren't they? Press those buttons. Do, do, do. Boing. Clack. Doors closing. Boosters on. Okay, if you've had a good practice at pressing your buttons, now we're gonna to pretend to get into our time machine. So are you ready? A bit like we got into the at Space Rocket last week. We're gonna go in. So follow, follow what I'm doing. Pretend to open the door of your time machine. Grown-ups should be standing in front of you somewhere. Step into your time machine and close the door. Don't forget, close the door. Now we need to get the time machine going. So you wanna press some of those buttons to get the time machine to start running so that you can take off and we can go back in time to the time of the dinosaurs. So see if you can press some of those buttons. Do, do, do. Beep, boing, click. Doors closing, boosters on. And when you think you're ready, what I want you to do is get down into that little ball that we did in our warm up before like this. Because we are gonna hear a sound which is a bit like a time machine taking off. So when you hear the noise, I want you to see if you can move around your room like you're flying through space. Maybe you're gonna spin round, maybe you're gonna shoot off around the room like you did in your space rockets last week. So let's hear the noise and you can have a little practice. Here it is. Wow, sounds really cool. So, have a go at pressing those buttons, have another little practice, 
and then we're all going to take off together in our time machine. So press your buttons. Beep, beep. Doors closing. Boosters on. Clink. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, ready? Get down into your ball. Ooh, ready to take off? Here we go. Everybody. in the dinosaur world. Conk. Wow. Okay. Now we need to get out of our time machine. So let's open that door and see where we are. Wow. Look around. What can you see? I can see lots of mountains with smoke coming out of the top. What are they called? The ones with smoke that come out of the top of the mountains. Hmm, what, I wonder what they are. And I can feel that it's really, really hot. I'm glad I'm wearing that hat that we put on before. It's so hot. There are some really cool looking trees as well with long branches with green leaves hanging down. They're very, very tall trees. Can't see anything living. I can't see any creatures yet. Maybe we'll start walking down this path. Should we go? Are you going to follow me? Let's walk along our path and see what we can see. Get ready because I'm going to show you what, what there is here. And I want you to try and pretend to think about what it might be like, okay? So let's go. Down this path, follow me. Laura the ex Dinosaur Explorer. I know what I'm doing. Follow me. Here we go. Down this path. Wow. Yeah, it's really hot. <gasps> Quick, I can see some pterodactyls flying over there. They're coming this way. We're going to have to duck. Get down, get down. Wow, they were so fast and so big. Maybe you could get a grown-up to pretend to be a pterodactyl flying across your head. Let's duck down because the pterodactyls are coming back. Wow, that one nearly scratched me on the head. Ow, wow. They're beautiful though. I wonder where they're going. Maybe they're going to catch some food. What do pterodactyls eat? Maybe they eat, do you think they eat small dinosaurs? Do they eat meat? I don't know. Maybe we need to find out. Somebody on here might know. They might be able to tell us and I can tell you. Anyway, wow, that was an amazing sight. Let's keep going. Let's see what else we might be able to find. Grown-ups, get ready because I'm going to need you to help us again in a minute. Keep walking along this path. It's getting quite leafy now. I can see lots of trees coming up. I'm going to have to walk through these trees. Can you pretend to squeeze through the trees? It's a very dense forest. <gasps> What's that over there? I can see a diplodocus. And a diplodocus is absolutely massive. It's huge. And it's got a really, really long neck with its head at the top like this. Grown-ups, do you think you could pretend to be a diplodocus? Because this diplodocus is looking for something to eat. What do diplodocuses eat, I wonder? Do they eat meat? I don't think they do, do they? I think they eat leaves. So children, do you want to see if you can pick a leaf and feed your diplodocus? A leaf. Any more leaves growing? Go and pick another one. Mm, it seems to like that very much indeed. It's very, very big. Maybe you could pretend to climb up your diplodocus and sit on its back while it's eating its leaves. Have a little play with that. See what other people are saying. Ooh, broccoli. Yeah, that's a good suggestion. I think they probably do eat broccoli. Leaves. Good one, Hugo. Yeah, I think diplodocuses do eat leaves. So, have a little play feeding your diplodocus lots of leaves and broccoli, maybe, or whatever else you think they eat. I think somebody suggested fish. It might be that they eat fish. They might go down to the river and eat some fish out of the river with their long, long, snaking neck. Lovely work. Should we say goodbye to the Diplodocus? Bye Diplodocus. This one's called Dippy. I don't know what your one's called. What's your Diplodocus called? Hmm. 
Yeah, maybe you can write that down and I'll read it later. But we need to keep on going because we've got a few more things to see. Uh, and I know that on the other side of this forest, there's a really cool volcano. So let's keep walking. Walking along our path through these trees. Push the branches out of the way. Right, we're coming out. We're coming out of the forest now. Yes, I was right. Just over there is a gigantic volcano. It's a massive, massive mountain. Now, this is where we might take a little break for somebody to run and get something red, orange or yellow. A scarf, a ribbon, some paper. Look what I've got. These are special drama stick, fire sticks that I've got. We're going to pretend to be the volcano together, okay? So if you want to go and grab something red, orange or yellow, it could be a t-shirt, a pair of trousers, a scarf, something in your house that are these colours, then we can pretend to be the fire coming out of the volcano, can't we? So when you've got them, you might want to have a little practice showing the fire spurting out of the top of a volcano. Have a little practice while we're waiting for everybody to get to get their red, orange and yellow things. Whoosh. Whoosh. Have a little practice being that volcano. Oh, it's bubbling and it's starting to spurt. Get ready. Whoosh. It came out the top. Whoosh. I wonder what sound it makes. Maybe whoosh isn't the right noise. Maybe what other noises might the volcano make? Crackle, spit. Mm, we'll have to have a think what kind of noises we need. Okay, everybody. Hopefully you've got something now that you can pretend to be fire. Let's all come down to the floor and make our fire bubble on the floor like this. Imagine that we're looking down the crater of the volcano, at the very top of the volcano, and we can see the bubbling lava, bubbling below, and here it is, bubbling away. Bubbling, bubbling. Maybe make some noises that might go with that bubbling sound. And I'm gonna count down from three. When I say go, I want to see everybody's volcanoes exploding everywhere, all over the room. You might even want to throw your red, yellow, or orange thing across the room if it's soft, if it's not gonna break. Try throwing it like real lava spurting out of a volcano. Are you ready? Here we go. Bubbling away. Three, two, one. Explode! Wow. I can almost feel the heat of the lava spurting out of your volcano. That's fantastic. What are people writing? Crunch and crash. The volcano might say. Oh, Nico's volcano is called. Cool. Oh, no, maybe it's not her volcano. It might be her Diplodocus was called B. Bye bye, B, the Diplodocus. Okay, brilliant. Well done. Fantastic volcano actions there. Let's go back to being our explorers because we're going to start heading back to our time machine. But I think there's a bit of a a scary cave we need to walk past to get back to the time machine. Grown-ups, can you do me a favour? Can you go and sit somewhere very quietly, maybe in the corner of the room with your eyes closed like that? Maybe go and hide in the sofa or on an armchair. Children, we're going to try and sneak past without them noticing. So let's climb down our volcano first. Climbing down, oh, it's very high up, and down the path. Okay, so, children, over there, I've spotted a Tyrannosaurus Rex fast asleep. What kind of noises is it making while it snores away? Maybe it's snoring, what can you hear? think it's fast asleep but we need to sneak past without the Tyrannosaurus Rex waking up and chasing us away. 
So let's see if we can do that. Should we sneak up past the Tyrannosaurus Rex? T-Rex is gone but we need the grown-ups again because we're back in our time machine and we need those buttons don't we to press to make our time machine take off and take us back home so can you get your grown-up to stand up again put them down in front of you get those buttons ready okay and let's press those buttons are you ready beep, 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 beep. Boing. doors closing Boosters on! Are you ready? We're going to crouch down ready for our time machine to take off again. Remember to listen out for the noise and when you hear it I want you to fly through space and time back home. Here we go. You ready? Crouching down. to bring back with you from our dinosaur adventure what do you think that might have been what would you have brought back with you like sort of like a souvenir what would you bring back with you from the dinosaur adventure I think I might have tried to look for maybe a dinosaur egg and bring that back put it in my backpack and bring it home what would you have brought back I wonder hmm. maybe you might have liked to draw a map of our adventure as well. So you might want to get some paper like this and draw a map on it to show where we went. Because where did we go? Did we go up a volcano? I think we did, didn't we? And we went in a forest and we saw that Diplodocus eating the leaves. And then we had to sneak past that Tyrannosaurus Rex and run away. And the pterodactyls, I forgot about the pterodactyls. So there's loads of things you could draw on that map if you wanted to, couldn't you? Hmm, maybe we'll think about that a bit later. Before we do that, I think it's probably time to take off our backpack. So take off your pretend backpacks. Take off your hat. That's it. I'm going to take off my boots, undo the laces. Pull the boots off. There we go. I've taken them off. Oh, phew. Well done for that dinosaur adventure. You did such a good job especially running away, away from the T-Rexes, fantastic. Now we're gonna do one last game to do with dinosaurs. You might know this one. It's usually called Sleeping Bunnies, but I've called this game Sleeping Dinosaurs. So, children, would you like to go to sleep on the floor somewhere? Get yourself nice and relaxed like a sleeping dinosaur. We saw a sleeping T-Rex before, didn't we? A sleeping dinosaur lying on the floor. <laughs> like that and we're going to sing the song that we know so well we're just going to change the words a little bit see the little dinosaurs sleeping till it's nearly noon shall we wake them with a merry tune they're so still are they ill wake up soon 
Wake up, little dinosaurs! Stomp, little dinosaurs! Stomp, stomp, stomp! Stomp, little dinosaurs! Stomp, stomp, stomp! Stomp, little dinosaurs! Stomp, stomp, stomp! Stomp, 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 stomp! One more go. Go back to sleep. See the little dinosaurs sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? They're so still. Are they ill? Wake up soon. Wake up, little dinosaurs. Roar, little dinosaurs. Roar, roar, roar. Roar, little dinosaurs. Roar, roar, roar. Roar, little dinosaurs, roar, 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 Very good. Well done. Fantastic work with the dinosaur dance. Good one. Brilliant. Okay. We have come to the end of our dinosaur adventure, creative play class for today. Now, earlier on, I mentioned the idea of bringing a souvenir home from our dinosaur adventure or making a map. Now, if you really feel like doing that today, children, drawing a map of the dinosaur adventure or drawing a picture of the souvenir you decided to bring back, the dinosaur egg maybe, or maybe it was, I don't know, it could be a dinosaur bone or it could be a bit of the volcano from before. If you could draw me a picture or make something cool to do with our dinosaur adventure from today, I'd love to see what you come up with. Maybe you could get your grown up to put a picture of what you've made on the Teeny Tiny Theatre Facebook group, maybe, or even on Instagram and tag us in. Uh, that would be really cool to see. I'd love that. And that would give you something a little bit extra to do today, to do with our dinosaur work that we've done together. Maybe find out about what dinosaurs eat, because we were talking about that before. What do those different dinosaurs eat? Pterodactyls, we talked about, and Diplodocuses, and I think there was a T-Rex. Maybe you could find out as much as you can about those kinds of dinosaurs um, and make... Uh, a fact file or something you could draw a picture of those dinosaurs and write some information about them on there a little um project for you to do for the day possibly anyway it'd be good to see that um grown-ups thank you so much for tuning in today and getting your children involved in teeny tiny theater at home uh, we're hoping to do this weekly now with a different theme each week um, maybe even with a different teacher each week. You'll have to wait and see to find out. Um, and we'll obviously advertise in the usual way on Facebook and Instagram. Check out our YouTube channel where we have all of our pre-recorded videos of activities for you to take part in. Subscribe to that channel. Um, we also have a coffee page, which you might have seen me uh, add to the post about this session today. And that is where you can, if you are able to, make a small donation to Teeny Tiny Theatre as a, a token of your appreciation, if you like, for all of the free activities we're offering at the moment online. Um, whatever you can offer, we would receive very, very gratefully. Um, but I will leave it there for today. It's been a long session. You've worked very, very hard. Have a wonderful day. And I look forward to seeing some of your videos or pictures or whatever you come up with in the comments section or on our page later. But we'll see you again. Thank you.